Yeah, that was me. How much control surface you got making on that? Oh, wrong. Look out! You know, I don't think that that battery can handle the workload by itself. Really? Just a hunch. And what makes you say that? All right, we're gonna go for take two. Okay, I don't mind flying stupid, but that last one was a little too stupid. We've, we've got a bigger battery in there now. Hopefully that'll allow more power. If not, the plane's probably gonna go down again pretty quick, and then I'll know it's a speed controller. Yeah. It's got more power. I lost it. All right, a little swirly. Yeah, I was going to say, get it out over the runway. Well, I know, but people are soft and squishy and cry when you hit them. Prop ain't well. Does it feel tail heavy? Yeah, a little. How does it glide? Crying. A little altitude on here. Way better than flies. No, it's still pulling to the left. What? It pulls to the right when I'm flying. Now it's pulling to the left. Yeah, but that should go away when you kill the motor. Trim your rudder or something. Or your ailerons. Flying better when you power it down. I well, remember it's a blue baby. Oh, that, I'm sure that motor setup is way more power than it needs. And that may be the wing loading may just be extremely light. Uh, you want to know how to figure that out? No, that fixed wing side I sent you? Do all the measurements on the wings. It'll tell you what the uh, wing area is. And then you add the weight in the wing area and it'll tell you what your wing loading is. And I bet you're well over 20 ounces, which is a good light wing loading. is 20 ounces per inch. Or 20, 20 ounces per foot, something like that. Kind of that. Yeah. All right. Okay, we try this goose again. Uh, it's flying less stupid every time. It's a good thing. Uh, we've now adjusted the throws, trying to make it a little bit less squishy. We'll see how it does. Better, worse? A lot less twitchy. I was gonna say it looks like it's flying a lot smoother. Yeah, I, I can I can find the sweet spot of the control quite a bit easier than what I did before. Um, I still don't don't like I think it's, it needs more wing loading. It needs more weight. Yeah, six months ago I would have I would have said such a thing was possible. Kind 
doing nothing. Yeah, I could probably use more nose weight. Better battery mount. Better battery mount for sure. But I want to that. Definitely a little tail heavy. Man, that thing's big. I could really use sunglasses. Yeah, I'm like, bring it right over your head. I'll try. Okay. I just like the good underwing shot as it passes over your head. Cool. And it's a lot easier to aim at yourself than it is at somebody else. Nice. I got that. That was a beautiful, beautiful barrel roll. Feel like doing another one? Sure. That's so weird. So slow and just beautiful. Yeah. So in the wreck today, the goose apparently sustained some pretty heavy damage. Uh, it's a nice clean break and I wanted to document this on, on how I'm going to fix it. Um, I actually call this a somewhat easy fix. Something like this is a nice clean break so it actually goes together pretty easily with a little taped glue and you know a little imagination. Well here we are only a few minutes later. Uh, looks like these repairs are we're gonna be ready to go uh, Typically a field repair like this um, if you're gonna do it in a field You'd be wanting to use uh, like a Gorilla Glue quick cure uh, I'm using an Elmer's ultimate which is a little runnier and it also gives you a lot more time for uh, cleanup You got more time to get into there and get it washed off before it starts to set up Or if you change your mind and you need to do something a little bit different or forgot to add your bamboo um, no bamboo skewers in this, just strapping tape. Got it on top, got it on bottom. Going the length of the plane, uh, pretty much the same thing on both sides. Uh, this whole chunk was taken off by the wing. Uh, typically I've seen that before on the Blue Babies. And you can see here, it's really starting to foam up and that's a good thing. I'm gonna have some battle scars, that's for sure, where this is gonna foam up and it's gonna be nice and brown and ugly. But uh, for something like this, I just call that a badge of honor. Well, I know, but people are soft and squishy and cry when you hit them. <laughs>